Gang, it's part six of the DX Commander Nebula. This is the last part of the uh, buildup. I'll have one more after this with what changes I would make to the process I took. Hope you enjoy it. So today is tomorrow. And with any luck, if I'm doing my editing right, you just saw me fail trying to put that sucker up a couple of times. And hilarious as it is, it's a kind of a problem. And I was trying to figure it out. And I went onto Cal's Discord and asked about it. And while I was waiting for a reply, I reread the manual once more. And I found out that, you know, I missed a step in the manual. And basically, it's make your own hinge for this with some rope and a couple of tent stakes. To that end, I'm going to uh, do that now. Uh, and then I'm going to put in the tent stakes at an angle so that the idea being as the center of gravity shifts and this end wants to pop up, these anchors, these, this line will anchor it down and give me enough leverage that I can finish popping it up. I've also disconnected my, my the original plan was to use the guy, two of the guy ropes already attached and pre sort of pretension to where they need to be and then you know tensioning the third guy rope after the fact so I'm not going to use the guy rope tension anymore as a means to get it up there I'm just going to use that and hope it works that test ran way better than I expected now it's time to shore up these lines a bit Either that or I need to get a, third, a second person involved. I may have to wait for the wife to be available so she can tension these lines after I have the mast vertical. So my brain said the best answer to this is wait for my lovely assistant and she's here. Here's your first look at the Nebula Guide In. Uh, I replaced, uh, instead of having a knot down here, I'm using a figure nine uh, beaner from 90s. I need to go into uh, Fort Wayne and buy some more of these for the rest of the project. But for now, I only have the two ones I use on my kayaks. But they're super handy because I'm able to put tension on the side take up all the tension and then lock it in without having to fumble around with a knot. That's an easy way to get it started. Uh, I'll more than likely be going to the 90s cam jams if I can find them in the right size for that rope. An upside to using those buckles, uh, the figure nine beaners or the cam jams, is that my wife helped me put up the mast and we got all these tents, you know, with the right tension on them. Now, all I had to do was unbuckle the one over there and I was able to lay the antenna mast all the way down. Um, I had the 80 meter element needed to be retentioned. I should be able to get the rest of it done all on my own now that the tension on the guys is right. So it's just a matter of, I, I'll fix the tension on the 80 meter, I'll hoist it up and then I'll use the rope that I have on the second plate to keep tension on it while I go over to the tense take over there and clip it in. It's time to stake down these radials. Keep in mind that I'm gonna have to take them off every time I lower this mast in order to uh, not bend them and break them. But for now, I'm just gonna stake them in so that I can take a test measurement on all the elements, see what needs to be adjusted using Cal's computer or calculator, I should say. And then I will disconnect the radials take the antenna down, make the adjustments, do it all over again, and so on and so forth until I have everything tuned. But for now, time to stake some of these in. All 
All right, so the field of radials is laid in. Um, I can even see where I doubled up on a couple of places I didn't need to double up at, so I'm going to move some of those around now that I realize it. But it is time to hook up some coax and do the first test on these elements and see what needs to be extended and what needs to be shortened. So I'll we'll start with 80 meters on the test. I'm going to go 3, 5 through 4. I might have to change those to find the sweet spot. The happy frequency right now is 3.865, 3.865, and I'm aiming for 3 3.573, 3.573. Wow, it says I need to add a meter 47, 147 centimeters, 80 meters. Add 147.5 cm. 60, although I don't do 60 on FT8, so 60 is kind of a wasted element for me. Should have thought about that. Maybe should have made that something else. Oh well, maybe when I take it down next time. But in any case, 60 starts at uh, what, 5, 3, 30? Something like that. And we're completely off the map here. So maybe there's something wrong with my 60 meter element. Let's try 40. 7.0 through 7.3. Something ain't quite right there, so. Let's start at 6.5. Still haven't found that, so let's go 6.0. Aha, there we go. So the sweet spot is uh, down at 6.2. 6.2, and I'm aiming for 70.74. So I need to cut 130, call it 139 centimeters. 40 meter cut 139 centimeters yes I took the antenna down made two changes I added the 147 centimeters to 80 meters and I cut a hundred centimeters off of the 40 meters just to verify that things aren't completely out of whack so I'm going to sweep 80 and we're gonna do a 3.5 through 4.0. The sweet spot right now is down here at 3655. So 3655, and we're aiming for 3573. So it says to add now 43 centimeters to the to the. Uh, measurement which doesn't make any sense to me right now this is way longer than it should be let's go and test 40 so 6.5 through 7.3 sweet spot on 40 right now is sitting at 6956 I'm aiming for 7074 so I cut 16 centimeters, so it's a good thing I didn't cut 140, 139, which is what I was calling for, and I only cut 100 because it's saying I need to cut 16 now. So let's test the rest of the bands. So the problem with this one was that in the process of taking up the antenna once and two or three times, the connector was the connector that was facing the earth or the dirt, and it took enough flex that it broke the connector. That's why I was testing uh, dead. So right now, the sweet spot on this is near 52, 52, and I want it to be, so cut 26 centimeters. Let's test 20, even though I haven't done anything with 20. 14 through 14,350. That's nice. The sweet spot is at 14,143 cut two centimeters. I think I'm just going to leave 20 well enough alone. 
because before it was saying cut 38 centimeters and now it's saying cut two centimeters. I think we're good enough. Even at the worst, we're looking at 1.19 SWR, the right at the FT8 frequency. So yeah, maybe I'll trim a centimeter or two out of that just to be on the safe side. No, that's not cut, that's add. Whew, wow. On this one, I cut 60 meters by 20 centimeters. It's called for 26. 40 meters by 100 centimeters instead of, uh, check that, I cut 10 centimeters. Um, make sure that I'm not, yeah. Cut 10 centimeters instead of 16. And on 30, I cut 25 instead of 54 almost. Just trying to get in the ballpark. So now let's test those again. Start with, oh, I also changed 80. Instead of adding 364, there's gotta be something wrong with this, the way I'm laying it out. So what I did is I double checked what I was reading from Cal's instructions. And he says to run 80 as a, uh, in order to get 10 and 11 meters out of it, uh, so linearly loaded for a long way for like seven meters and change. Uh, and the way it was coming down wasn't exactly, you know, immediately next to each other. There might have been a half a centimeter gap in there. So I went and added some tape to the top section of the mast to keep those two wires, the, the, the wire closing closer together. And then once it went through the spreader, the top spreader, uh, I used tape to keep on the wire itself to keep the wire close to each other. So let's see if that changes things. Let's start with 80. So we're looking at 374 being the sweet spot right now. See, now it says add another 81 where before it was saying 80, 300 and some odd. So something ain't quite right there. It's mainly I'm certain in the way I'm running it. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is making notes on what the third set of tests is generating for me and on what band. I won't bore you with the rest of this. This is sped up six speed and you can see that I'm just making tests, figuring out where I want to be and putting them in the spreadsheet to calculate whether I need to cut or add. I'm going to trim this here so that you don't have to cry over the extra long cut of me testing. In any case, I'm going to go back out, take the antenna down one more time. I'm going to cut 20, I'm going to cut 25 centimeters off of this, and then I'm calling it a day. All right, gang, that was part six. Part seven will be my wrap up of what I would do different from what I did if I had to do it all over again. Catch you next time. Seven, three.